Hi friends, it is me Syed Bilal, Academic Counselor, Igno Study Center, Vadakanjeri. Today I am going to discuss with you the relationship of sociology with psychology. So today we are discussing relation of sociology, sociology with psychology. At first, I ask you a question, what is psychology? What is psychology? In simple words, psychology is the study of individual's behavior. It is the study of, it is the study of individual's behavior. The word psychology derived from psych, psych. Psych means mind or soul. Then logos. Logos means science. So it is the science of mind. In modern times, it is the study of individual behavior. Now let us discuss the definition of Baron. Baron was a Baron was one of the most important psychologist of modern history. According to Baron, psychology is the study of psychology is the study of human behavior and cognitive process. Now let us discuss the possible links between sociology and psychology. What is the other possible similarity between sociology and psychology? So we study the similarity between sociology and psychology. So the subject matter of psychology is individual. First one, subject matter of subject matter of psychology is individual individual behavior. In social background, but subject matter of sociology is subject matter of sociology is social collectives, social collectives. including family including family community so subject matter of psychology is individual at the same time the subject matter of sociology is society but there is a link the social background influence an individual and the pressure from an individual may change the attitude of society also. 
So there is a link between sociology and psychology. And when they study the group dynamic, studying the group dynamic, When we are studying the changes in a group, in a, in a particular group, both, both disciplines share the common interest, share common interest. So this is the second similarity. When a change in a particular group is uh, becoming the subject matter, both the dis disciplines study the same. So there is a similarity. Friends, now we are going to study what is social psychology? What is social psychology? And what are the similarities between social psychology and sociology? What methods have been used both in sociology and social psychology. At first we, we can study the definition. What is the general definition of social psychology? Definition. It is the systematic study of it is the systematic study of it is the systematic study of people's behavior, people's behavior, thoughts, and feeling, and feeling. So it is the systematic study of people's behavior. Psychology is the systematic study of individual behavior. But social psychology studies about the people's behavior and their thoughts, their feelings, their problems, etc. And G.W. Allport, according to G.W. Allport, one of the eminent psychologists, the thought, the thought, feeling, Behavior, behavior of individual, of individual as shaped by, as shaped by actual imagined or Implied presence of others. So, what does the GW Allport means? An individual is acting according the presence of others. So, it means according to the presence of others means according to the pressure of society. So, an individual act which is done under the pressure of others or society. It is called a social psychology. Now let us discuss the common methods which is used both in sociology and social psychology. Common methods common methods used in sociology and social psychology so in both discipline some methods are using as the same first one middle range theory first one middle range theory
So middle age range theory is proposed by Robert K. Merton in 1949. It is proposed by Robert K. Merton. He was an American sociologist. He was an American sociologist. As far as this theory is concerned, this, this theory says that part of any, anything in a social system is functional for in their system. Suppose religions, the religious activities are functional for the maintenance of the ender social system. So any part of the society is working as a whole. So what about this theory? This theory says that any part of any part of social system is functional for functional for entire system so oh, each and every part of the society is important family is important religion is important for example Religious pluralism. So there are many religions. All these religions are standing for peace, tranquility, brotherhood, love, etc. So any part of the society is working for the maintaining of ender system. Second theory, Weber's worst hand theory. Second theory, Weber's worst hand theory. The word worst hand means Understand deeply. Verstehen means it is a German word. Verstehen is a German word. It means to understand deeply. Here, here researcher try to understand the cultural activity of a small group. Here researcher understand deeply, understand deeply culture of a small group. So this method as an insider, as a member of that particular group, as an insider, not outsider, as an insider of that particular community. So, worst hand theory means to understand the culture of a small group. How? To, by becoming one member of that society, by indulging in that society. This is called worst hand theory. This theory is also used by psychology and social psychology sociology and social psychology so both disciplines have been utilized by these two theories these are the common methods used by both now let us discuss the relationship of anthropology with sociology relationship of sociology relationship of sociology with anthropology
Firstly, I would like to ask a question. What is anthropology? What is anthropology? Anthropology means study of man and his origin. Study of man, his origin, his origin. So, anthropology is the scientific study of man and his origin and his development. Next, we are going to study social anthropology. Social anthropology. It is a branch of anthropology. It is a branch of anthropology. It is a branch of anthropology. Which studies, which studies man, his culture, his development, his evolution, now let us discuss the similarity between sociology and anthropology similarity between similarity between sociology and anthropology Now let us discuss what are the similarities between anthropology and sociology. We know well that sociology studies about the society, the individual. Likewise, so anthropology studies about man and his origin. So the subject matter of sociology and anthropology is man and the collective behavior of man. Now let us discuss some of the similarities of sociology and anthropology in the view of some anthropologists. According to Fraser, according to Fraser, one of the eminent anthropologists, Fraser, anthropology is anthropology is branch of sociology branch of sociology so social anthropology is also a branch of sociology but sociology is a general science sociology is a general science but anthropology is confined into origin and childhood of human society. Anthropology is is confined into origin childhood of human society. Now let us discuss the opinion of Evans Pritchard. Evans Pritchard. Evans Pritchard. According to Evan Pritchard, social anthropology is social anthropology is branch of branch of social studies 
but it the its its focus is on primitive society it focuses on primitive society primitive society according to radcliffe brown radcliffe brown anthropology studies about particular event anthropology studies particular and specific event but sociology sociology focuses on social process now let us discuss the differences between sociology and anthropology anthropology differences first one sociology studies about society sociology studies about society but anthropology studies anthropology studies about origin of man origin of man second one sociology has deep root in philosophy sociology has deep root in philosophy but anthropology is not philosophical anthropology is not philosophical third one sociology emerged in 18th century as a result of french revolution industrial revolution and enlightenment so sociology emerged in 18th century sociology emerged in 18th century but anthropology is an old subject anthropology is an old subject fourth one scope of sociology scope of sociology is wide social process but the scope of anthropology was confined into non european illiterate societies scope of anthropology is confined into non european illiterate society 